On the 26th of June 2000, President Clinton paid tribute to one of the greatest scientific breakthroughs in history, the mapping of the human genome. It will revolutionize the diagnosis, prevention, and treatment of most, if not all, human diseases. In coming years, doctors increasingly will be able to cure diseases like Alzheimer's, Parkinson's, diabetes, and cancer. Well before birth, the genetic dice have been cast that decide hair and eye color, height, sex, and the likelihood of developing a particular disease. The goal of the Genome Project was to identify all of the 20 to 25,000 human genes and to sequence three billion units of DNA to discover exactly what makes us what we are. Each cell in the human body contains 46 chromosomes arranged in 23 pairs. The chromosomes themselves are largely made up of very long DNA molecules which have been elaborately wound up. They carry four-letter coded information that decides physical characteristics. And some believe it influences behavior too. It is known that certain diseases are linked to certain chromosomes. People with Down's syndrome have three chromosome 21s. This identifies its location on the genome. Those inheriting Huntington's disease had a unique coding at the tip of chromosome 4. But some diseases, such as heart disease and cancer, are linked to a series of defects, often across several chromosomes. By creating the roadmap, scientists of the future would have a vital tool to tackle diseases. The Genome Project began in the US in 1990. Several countries were involved, including Britain, China, Japan, France and Germany. But the biggest research centre was at the Sanger Institute near Cambridge, where 30% of the genome was mapped. This is a set of instructions to make a human being. It's as simple as that. And we're going to spend the next decades and centuries of humankind working out what it all means, how it works, how it puts us together. Major technological advances such as those in robotics meant the whole process was speeded up and the rough draft was completed in June 2000, a year ahead of schedule. Eventually, a single blood test at birth could map out an individual's entire future risk of disease. But the knowledge unlocked by this holds dangers as well as opportunities. It could lead to discrimination by insurance companies and employers or even to a world where the wealthy have the means to design their own children, and the poor don't. Ultimately, the information needs to be used fairly and responsibly for the benefit of all.